get your pen and your paper things are happening in the zoo i assure you and this very glorious battle we are winning it we are not relenting we are not going back there is nothing else left for us to do than to proclaim the emergence of the sovereignty of the Republic of Biafra, and that will happen very imminently. And when we do so, we shall have the resources, the means, the men, and the arms to defend our land. We are moving very slowly, but we are finally heading to our destination. You should not fear. You should not prevaricate. You should not contemplate surrender. You should not even think about retreating because we're not going to stop until the land of Biafra is set free. We want to let the world understand how fanatical we are about this very freedom that we are pursuing. We want mankind to testify with their own mouths that indeed God Almighty in heaven is with his children in the land of Biafra. Before we go any further, we are going to pray. Because on this very glorious platform, we pray all the time because we are nothing without the grace of God Almighty in heaven. Not because the white men brought the Bible to us. Or the fact that Arabians brought their Quran to us, not at all. But because we are the original children of this very earth, those who are immensely blessed by God Almighty in heaven. Because before the white man came, we were answering Umujubu, which literally means the children of God. Before the white man came, we were answering Chukuma, which means that God knows it all. Before the white man came, we were answering Ihechi, which means the light of God. Before the white man came, we were answering every name that beautified and glorified the essence of the Almighty in heaven. There is nothing anybody can teach us about the knowledge of God Almighty in heaven. That is why we pray and submit ourselves to him. Every time, even though we are not on air, every blessed day I pray seven times in a day. And this evening we must pray. And I will pray, of course, unapologetically and unashamedly, with the language of heaven, the very oldest language on the face of this very planet Earth. That you, Kweke Kabiyama, and the host of heaven may be able to answer our prayers. Allow me to pray. Chine kenan ke promi hanina. Chu Kweke Kabiyama, onyanyi ne fena goze ahansoya, ututu hi habale. Onyo bonani ya ki keri neno na badraka ya chine ken na kene kute mbe madaga na mbe madaga un onyo bonani ya busu ni lengendi aga eze kachasi eze ni nelu onyo mu ona madu na busi alanya onyo bonani ya kambari gwe ne kosi aluaka ya Oye po po nani yan nan ke din soma rom be big e biste ne bi po fa she we polite mo bo nya Chine ken nan ken de biafra Chine ken nan ken adega na ho na Ore ndi bo ne tu e big e bi Ni hi no po nani na didi ma rom be big e bi Ana ba ho na nwo anwo Ma chine ken nan kanyi na gbisi ala nye na digi de ma rom be big e bi Nampabunine, nkomori, we we suka. Nana ge ngwe chiyoso mwabuka nana ge kabo kunson ke ge chine ke. Obe ba kani bakwa soroku we na bukwa hanso go po chini ni mendo anyo. Nasi no pukini ne guye na eme na waka ga ala azun nan kebele. Ni hini melonu we se na biafra ga adelele. 
Of one can keep them digging. Oh, bro, man, you have to use all John Kendoche with the Rani. Where is Sonu Nusan Kagan and Kiwe? Candy Bossy, where many men want his Yoku. Negas, I never want to go. He was a Kanani Bele. Nee, he hang in a man of Botchin Keta. Mbapani ne IPOB na pano wani ne nanke bre dengosi. Ewe suka mrage nanke igwe. Ewe suka kichi neke. Ndi noke me milani. Obi amelo tutoni ne jamani ne mbulielu. Igwe si ala drege. Maru mbebi ebi. Owe gondo do ale lio zanyi na lio gen nanke bre dengosi. Ogla ki iwe nyanyi biafra. Owe gi hon zanyi na lio nyongom na chine kena. Obu ki iwe me kaleze iwe sine li igwe wele katane lo wa. Deka yeshiwa. Jiso si siwe bene bene. O se kaleze ge bia. Ke me hanyi na chone lo wa. Deko siwe dini igwe. Obi hanyi na zwa leze ge no wan nan ke bere. Ige kwe ki hene wwe ma han sore. Anye jige ma anye jige wata anye jige wwe nan ke bere. Obi kan so sa han sore kanyena po kumbe ni ne. Ige kwe ki hene wwe ma han sore. Chite kwa nanyo wanye ba anakwa hopo mada dendo kanyo bo. Fu bote anye gangwo lele. Ige ni yine kere ke gangwo a wun. Ma chite kwa na ukun sore na digri ma rum bibi yibi. Ige kwe kwa wwe chia han sore gachi. Ni yon obo anye wanye ka na chwa chwa. Oba han sore ka ga chwa chwa. Aga si le kwa nge ni ne oko bla han wwe na oku. Chile ke nan ke bini ywe. O sa he bere. Okwane ki kwa waka chochi nan ki ywe. Hani wwe na po kwa han sore nasi nwe ki hanyi bwe wwe su gare. Obu nane ki bu chine ke nan. Ani wwe bolo mwge bu Eastern Security Network wwe nye fege naka ki ywe duwe han nan ki ywe. Duwe honyo ngom na chine ke nan. Opo po hana mpata hani ne. Nye han meri ebe ndi no no. Le kwe zon lan ki jaka ywe yobu IPOB no wani ne chine ke nan kusunu len ke ndi aga. Ndi de tu wabu mwge ka. Hawa kwa mwde ywe yobu do dwe ka ybon nan ke bre. Ani wwe na rogi ki wwe leta anyi ni nanotu nanotu. E zino lwa ndi yupu ndi ybe. Ndi yogo ndi yenyi. Ndi nso ne brege bre mbe ni ne. Ni hi na la biafra wwe ndi nso. Ndi nso na atom manyo pochi ni ne wwe na oku a hanson. Ndi singi biko meranya mara. Momo ki hon zon. Kuru den kanyi na so na kwan kanyi ne bewe le tandege chine ke nan ki ybe. Ni hi na fula na pata kwa uwele nan ke bre. Oka iso so oka hanokon uwele nan ki ybe. Biko no meranya mara ge. Zop ta kwa nye na ka a jwa nye. Dwa nye no zore nye nke ziyo mo mege. Kwa ga bo ni pe te ma sa na biafra ga bie. Ni yi na mbi nye na nye biafra nan ke bre den gosu. Obu kwa han sore ka a geto po ke mada den do. Obu na ne ka ga uisi ala nye. Obu na ne ka ga bura bo tu to mwol mbe ni ne bie. Bini yi na obo ni ne nke ga bie. Yiri na mwono bo mo biafra nan ke bre den gosu. Obo ni ne ga bie no wan nan ki gwe. Ga uisi ala nye ge. Ni yon obo nye nye na ha biafra nan ki gwe ka ge efe. Obo nane ki bo chine ke nan. Bo nye puri nyanye biafra bo ke mada den do. Ani we wulo wani we nye fege na ka. Se ka mwana ge man ma ge bere ge omi yiko ge nan ki gwe. Me so ma ge. We jo putani yi men duanye. Ko tu to di ni nan so pri ni ni jam mani yi. Ne mbou liye lo dre so sa han so ge nye ke li gwa no wa. O gwa mwano mbou ni ne bebe ka nan lo ge. Ise. 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 Hey. O zi oma chine ke. For some minutes there, I delved into the spirit. Because we are nothing without Elohim. Chine ken nan ke bini we. Unashamedly so, because we have prayed in the language of heaven, the oldest language on the face of this very earth. That is why the British hate us so much. They were the first to encounter our civilization. They despised us when they went to Arochuku and saw the grace of God upon our lives. They said to us, you have no history. But today we have proven to the world that indeed we do have history. And we are very proud of it. And we are going to defend that very heritage with the last drop of our blood. We must preach the gospel of heaven this evening as always. That the blind may see and the deaf may hear. That they may go out to testify the goodness of the Lord in the lives of those that call themselves indigenous people of Biafra. That name will live forever and ever. IPUB will endure when all of us are gone. That I can assure you. Because the miracle and the hand of God is upon us. Allow me to preach. The Southeast governors, they claim in the, in the, should I say, in the Guardian newspaper and indeed every other newspaper in the zoo, they said the Southeast governors unleash 
ebu bagu more like ebu be pussy ebu budele to tackle rising unrest ebu bagu the only ago I saw in the press conference was Obiozo wearing the traditional cloth that we have, which is called Isi Ago. That is the only ago I saw. Behind them, we are Fulani Janjaweed Police Commissioner AIG from the north. When the Yorubas launched Amoteku, there was no Fulani man. When the Yoruba governors launched Amoteku, there was no Fulani police whatever idiot there these ones they gathered in a worry sadly of course because anambra is the first son is the building of biafra land the building of Ibo land is anambra state uh, before i came on air this evening in fact i concluded that the reason why things are not working for these criminals and vagabonds is because they neglected anambra we chose enugu and now they have gone to a worry Whereas Anambra is the source, is the beginning, is the first son of Igbo land, is Anambra. But now they have gone to Oware. They met in Oware. All of them for the first time. All the Janja weed appointed governors gathered in one place. The only thing that united them for the first time since their inception. Since they, they started having this stupid and ridiculously named Southeast Governors Forum, the only time they got together is to work against the interest of their own people. Go and check all their meetings. One or two of them will be missing. The only time they gathered together, the only time was a few days ago. Why? Because they want to act against the interest of the masses. And what is that interest? Is the Eastern Security Network. Because we have made it impossible for the Fulani Janja with terrorists, with the help of British government, Nigeria army and police to take over our land. You must understand what I'm saying very, very clearly, please. Understand me this evening. I beg of you. Morning, noon or night, depending on where you are. Allow me to repeat, I said, the only reason why they gathered together in Oware in the office that they gave to their stooge, Opus Odema, the Sarkin Fulani of Imo State, appointed by Eba Kiyari, Robert Stam to buy a Fulanized Janja with Supreme Court in his office. Because the Fulani said to them, if you do not gather in a way, we will not listen to you. They gathered to form their stupid, the bubag or whatever rubbish they call it. And if you look at the picture rather laughably, and of course, in their characteristically undignified manner, you will see some Janjaweed standing behind them. Very sad indeed. Fulani, they are launching something they claim is to defend the Southeast and Fulani people are there. And let me ask them how many times, how many vigilante and security network do they have in the North? How many Igbo people were present during the launch of those security outfits in the North? They have one in Bauchi. They have one in Yobe. That is to tell you how stupid these fools are, calling themselves governors. The most useless and idiotic set of people you can ever come across. Very, very sad indeed. Now listen to me. I want to prove to the whole world, everybody listening this evening, how stupid and idiotic these people are. Because some of you do not know how idiotic they are. I want to prove to you that these Southeastern governors, they are a bundle of idiocy, stupidity. These are the kind, the, the, this is the species of idiots. The species of idiots. Over the years, who have been making life extremely difficult for us. What have they done? Do you, all of you can remember a while back, they said that they are launching, that they, we have now uh, uh, banned uh, open grazing. I want to start from the beginning. I am responding to what the governor said a few days ago, that they are launching a security outfit. Out of pride, because they have killed, they were the ones that ordered the Fulani army and police to invade our land and kill us. Operation Python Dance. Python dance one, pattern dance two, three, four, five, broke a smile. So they are too ashamed of themselves to approach Eastern Security Network to work collaboratively to try to secure 
our land in the east. You need to understand. Because that's the same way we come from. They have committed, they have polluted the land. They have polluted. That is why they don't have the face to approach IPOB leadership to say, please come and help us. We have a problem. They are all murderers and killers. And they will all be held accountable when the time comes. Now, a summary of what they said is this, and I will summarize. I'm using what Guardian newspaper reported. They are now directing, listen carefully. They claim they are forming a bubagu. They claim they are floating a security network, maybe to rival ESN, which is impossible, of course. If you ask the zoo army and the police, they will testify. If you ask the foreign terrorists in the forest, they will testify. Nobody can. What they did rather foolishly is to say these are people listen these are people launching a security network don't get me wrong it's called they called it a bubago and it, during their press briefing they now said we are directing all security agencies to enforce ban on open grazing hey so you're not directing a bubago to stop open grazing you're going back to the same police that has failed for nearly seven years I want to let people understand how useless, idiotic, and foolish the so-called governors are. When these people call themselves we, the political elite, I want to, to basically gouge out my eyes. You claim you are an elite and you have common sense. You came to a press conference to launch something you are calling your regional security outfit. And in the same breath, whilst you're standing, claiming you're launching regional security outfit, you are now asking police standing behind you to please enforce the ban on open grazing. Then why are you floating a security outfit if the police are going to enforce the ban on open grazing? Knowing fully well that open grazing is the source of every problem we are having in the zoo. <coughs> Let me take some water. Are you that's number one for those of you with pen and paper that is number one when we floated eastern security network i gave them the order to flush out full and terrorists from our bushes and they're doing successfully we are now having a few teething problems in eboing why because in eboing state we have now discovered that the so-called fulani headsmen are nigerian army and police they take off their police uniform, they pick up, they go to their own police and army armory in a police state. Under the eyes and nose of Umahi, they pick up guns from their armory. They go and slaughter villagers in a police state. Under Fulani, headsmen. The army and the police. That is why very soon there will be no army or police in a police state. If we see you with Ami in a state, you're a dead idiot, you will die. Because you people are the ones supporting your own people to take over our land in a Boeing state. I have noticed that most commentators and analysts abroad, uh, most of these people compromised and paid by the zoo. They are still writing their rubbish, you heard that from a clash. God will punish all of you. I don't care if you're white or if you're black. You can see Fulani coming to my land to take my land from me. You can see them killing villagers. You're telling me it's from a header clash. God will punish any idiot that writes about from a header clash. It is not. Fulani, with the help of the British government, is hell-bent on taking over our land and our resources, denying us the right to exist as a people, with dignity, of course. They don't want us to live with dignity. They want to enslave us in our land. We are the original land of the free. We had no kings because we believed that every man was born and is born equal before God Almighty in heaven. That only God can be king, not man. The British came and we accepted their nonsense. They gave us a, a, an adulterated version of the word of God in the Bible that they brought to us full of lies and deception, distorting the word of God. They gave it to us, and we fell apart as a people. This generation of IPOB is here. We're going to correct this nonsense. We must correct it. We have no choice. 
we correct it or we die correcting it. We are not going to give an inch nor quarter. They must understand this very, very clearly. They are about to see the definition of madness. They are about to discover how fanatical we are about Biafra. They don't understand. They read about it. They say, oh, they're on social media. That you don't understand how insane we are about Biafra. Any day you know, you will give us our Biafra and let us live in peace. People that got together, you know, when they're talking about forming a security outfit, they were standing up, oh, not even in the office. The same place they are standing saying, today we are launching a Bubago Eastern Security Network. The same place they are saying, police, please go and enforce um, open grazing. And do you know how deceptive and, uh, deceptive and evil these people are? They do not have any legislation to back up the, di the directive they are giving to the police to go and stop open grazing. Now, let me shock all of you. That some of you don't know this about the zoo called Nigeria. I want to shock all of you so you understand what I'm saying. A governor does not have the right to issue any order to the police in Nigeria. Some of you don't understand this because you, you go to school but you learn nothing. You understand nothing because your brains are empty and when I say they say I'm insulting them, why won't I insult you? Because a lot of you are very, very foolish. Most of you are stupid and idiotic. How? What you have is Nigeria police force. Not Anambra police force. Not Imo police force. Not Ogun police force. Not Oshun. Not Lagos police. You people must understand this. The only time the Nigeria police or army can act in your state is only when the directive you're giving to them is in tandem with the wishes and aspirations of the Inspector General of Police and of the Presidency. Do you understand what I'm saying? The only time a governor can speak to the police and the police will listen is when that directive, like Operation Python Dance, go and kill the Afran people, is in tandem with what the Fulanis want in Abuja. That's all. If not, they will not carry it out. Now, tell me why. For nearly two weeks now, we have been under sustained Fulani Janjaweed, or should I say, Nigeria Army and police attack in Ebony State. The army has not responded. They have not issued any statement. Nobody has said a word, not one single word, in condemnation of what is happening. Nigeria media, those evil journalists, they have not written about it. But there is war going on in Ebony, even right now, this minute. We are fighting them. We defeated them, they went back and brought, they went to Benue State, they brought Fulani people in the army and in the police. They took off their police uniform, their army uniform, their neighbor in fighting us. And some of you don't understand what is going on, because you're foolish. The zoo has gotten into some of you. You are forming a security outfit. A security outfit. In the same vein, you're asking, the work you are setting up the security outfit for, in the same place, you are telling the police to go and enforce it. Chinekin, I don't, I God in heaven. What planet did these people actually emerge from? Are you sure they went to school? Are, are you sure that? I know oh, 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 George Obiosa is there. He's a professor, an intellectual. Are you sure they are well at all? And they know that they do not have the force of the law to back, to back up their plan on open. How many times will they are now open grazing ban? Almost 20 times. Over 20 times. Go and Google it. Grazing ban. Every two, two months, grazing ban. Why ask yourself, why is it that the police are not enforcing it? In our land. In fact, in the whole of the Middle Belt and the whole of the South. Why? Ask yourself that question. Those of you in one, your stupid one, Nigeria. Why is it that the, the since should I say 2016, every two two months, grazing ban, grazing ban, enforcing? After saying it, the police will go back home or go back to their offices. All they do is, is to set up roadblocks and be extorting money from people and killing their friends. That's all they do and arresting them. That is all. That same job that the governor said, go and do this job, they will never do it. They have never done it. I will never do it. Because it is not, it doesn't correspond with what Abuja wants. 
Abuja want Fulani in our forest so they can take over our land. So if you ask the police command, the Nimo State, to go and stop open grazing, they will not do it. Since they gave this directive, was it last week? Have you ever heard that the police confronted any Fulani open, uh, grazing openly anywhere or grazing their cattle openly anywhere? It's a simple question. I want our people to understand how idiotic and stupid these fools are calling themselves governors. Since they have been saying, why did only, only two or three months ago they announced open grazing ban? That same time, it was in Ebony State, Umahi said, we are directing the police and the, and the security, security agencies to go and enforce the ban. Till today, nobody has enforced it. What does that tell you about Nigeria and their police, uh, um, should I say their police system? Something some of you don't know is that what you have is a Nigeria police force. It's not there to serve you. It's there to serve Abuja. If a Fulani man in Abuja says, I want Fulani headsmen in, in, in Isunjaba, that's what is going to happen. They will come to your village. They will kill you. In Isunjaba, they will kill you. You will call the police. Com police commissioner, they will not respond. Because the police forces doesn't belong to you. It belongs to the federal government of Nigeria. That is something, people, that is one thing I, I every day, I, I wonder what type of God made you people. Now, listen. They formed the bube bubu dele, bube bube pussy. I'll go pussy, the one having the house. When you stamp your feet on the floor, you run away. Pussy, you know, pussy cat. Not hago. Very sad indeed. And as somebody put it, after, after some pussy footing, the governors of the five southeastern states of Abia, Anambra, Ibonye, Nugu, and Dimo decided to take their destinies in their own hand and address the fast deteriorating security situation in the region with the unveiling of a new security outfit codenamed the Bubago. Now I ask you, did you see when Amoteku was launched? When ESN was launched, you saw men. In Yoruba land, you saw men, volunteers. If, no, I think some of them are on salary. Our, ours is volunteer. It's a, an entirely volunteer force. Not, nobody's paid a dime. Volunteers. When we launched ESN, you saw men. Somebody said, it's a book. Rat. Not even pussy. Pussy is even strong. Pussy can catch a rat. These idiots launch their own. They no, the only person who looked like a, he's a he's a, a Argo, a leopard, because Argo in our place is, is leopard. The only person, some of you must know that tiger is not indigenous to Africa, so our ancestors couldn't have named a tiger Argo. Understand this very carefully. Tigers, I think, they're only found in, in Southeast Asia. I may be mistaken, and I stand to be corrected. They are found only in Asia, if I'm not mistaken, in the Far East. There is no tiger anywhere in Africa if my biology serves me right. So our ancestors couldn't have named the tiger Agro. Agro is leopard. That's what we have for your information. Now, listen. They formed this Abube Pussy. Nobody was in sight. The only, the only person wearing the cloth with uh, Agro on it was uh, George Obiozo. The only person. Obiano looks like a cowboy from, from the village drinking pan wine somewhere. Do you know how foolish these governors are? Some of you don't even know what is going on. They are so petrified of their Fulani masters, they can't even wear their traditional Isiago, which is our traditional wear. Umahi was wearing Fulani Danjiki. I don't know what uh, uh, Ubani was wearing. Obiano looked like a cowboy. Okay, see, as you look like somebody had a, 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 a 419 that landed in Bada somewhere. Just look at their dress. None of them dress like the, like where they come from. In Yoruba land, they dress the way they, uh, uh, they, are, they in the way of that. Basically, when you see them, you know that these are Yoruba governors. In the north, you, of course, you know these are Janjaweed, the Fulani. In our own land, in Igbo land, the heart of um, the cradle of civilization. Of mankind itself. They are ashamed of who they are. <laughs> Go and look at it. Some of you don't even observe such little things. You don't even have time. 
Thank you. Casey, thank God. Is it is it battle? I think that's even that is even better. Ebu battle. They could not even wear their traditional um, attire because they are afraid of their fallen masters. They know fallen. Look at Umahi. Umahi. Every day he's wearing danchiki with red cap. Danchiki every blessed day. Oh, Chineke, my brother. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Ebubagu means the fear of a lion, which is rubbish. This food doesn't work. Ebubagu means the glory of a leopard. What you feel when you see a leopard. Ebubagu is a security outfit. <laughs> but we never saw any. Not one. Do you know why you did not see anybody during the launch of this ridiculously named Ebubagu rubbish by these fools? Because they have nobody. And they know that nobody can join them. Every young man and woman from the East is under oath. Divine oath to restore Biafra. We know that these are Fulani lackeys. These are Janjaweed servants in our land. Nobody can ever take them seriously and understand it very well. Ask them, where is your... Uh, okay, when are they taking off? When is this a battle? When is it going to kick off? When am I? When? Nobody knows. After it, you're not here telling police behind you, Fulani ginger weed behind you. Hey, please stop grazing pan. You're telling me that the Fulani will go and stop the brother from grazing in, the, in your bush. Are you mad? You people are the fools. You are the only ones killing your own people. Whereas the Fulani are the ones importing their own people from all over Sahel to come and occupy our land. That is how idiotic you stupid people are calling yourselves governors. And the idiots who are following you fools. Because of what they can eat. What I'm preaching, somebody said I should remove everybody from it. <laughs> everybody at all. Everybody okay. Some of you, everybody, mumu. <laughs> Some people are coming up with names. <laughs> Dear me. Uh, people are very funny. Everybody at all. <laughs> they said uh, that um, they are forming it because last week, uh, gunmen brazenly attacked him uh, because of that. Uh, they are forming it, so that means you are forming it to go and fight not full on a ginger weed that is uh, ravaging our land, even in, in a boy right now as I speak. You're forming it to go and fight an enemy you cannot see. <laughs> How can you fight something you cannot see? At least no fewer than 67 security agents. Listen, oh, listen, in the launch of a which in essence means a, a local security outfit to, to take care of our land. But they are, oh dear me, oh, these people, they are foolish. They gathered the heads of security agencies in the region. And all of them joined together to issue a communique. Because Dave Umahe wants to be president. The brother is a retired major general that I don't know. That, that family is compromised. Sabo, everyone. These are conk traitors they are. They want to be president. These idiots came and launched a security outfit without anybody in a security outfit to show for it and they all went home just to grab the headline for a few days as some will say audio security network audio security network more like a, 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 a fools calling themselves governors making a mockery of common sense do you know what they have been doing let me tell you where they plan or intend to get their recruits from. From Eastern Security Network. Some of them have now approached uh, some people they, they, they thought uh, are frontline commanders of Eastern Security Network. One state in particular, one idiot in particular, who puts them, sent people to go and inquire in Imo State. That they should get him the name of the commander of ESN in Imo State. That he intends to make him 
the commander of uh, a battalion in Imo State. Are you listening to me very carefully? These are the people that he wanted to kill a few weeks ago. These are the people that him and his family friends are still hunting till today. He's looking for them. So, <laughs> uh, all this announcement they made in front of their Fulani masters, you know, where is basically to say we are going to divide ESN. We are going to tell you that money talks. We have the money, the security budget. We are going to buy you people over. Trying to go back to what Gowan said, that the best way to defeat this agitation is by spraying money everywhere. To their horror, shock, and surprise, the people they met somewhere in Imo State, ask Sarikin Fulani, who puts them, he will tell you. The people ask them, why don't you go to the leadership of go to go to IPOB leadership and ask them to come and do this thing for you? Why are you coming to us? To divide us? And the people told them, we are under oath, we cannot do it. We are under, we cannot do it. So they have nobody. Is to come and poach a structure that we have already on the ground. You know, you know that, you know, Hope Sodema is a 419 and he's a thief. He used laptop to steal before. They, you know, the, the Janjaweed are very clever. They decided to give us idiots as our impose idiots and call them leaders. A 419 a certified criminal, a hardened criminal, a highway robber. They claim is the governor of Imo State sitting in the same office as Mbappe. What an insult. What an insult to the memory of the great legend himself, Sam Nakambapwe. He went to go and poach ESN officers. Look, listen, you know, well, well, they were announcing, we, we have a bag home with nobody to show for it. After two days or two or three days, they went in search of ESN officers to give them money. We will give you everything you want. Come and become our head. Can you imagine such nonsense? As some will say, only in the East, only in Igbo land, only in Igbo land, only in Igbo land. Very, very sad indeed. That is where we are today. They want security outfit. The meeting resolved to maintain a joint security vigilante for the which means in the Abubago, the commissioner of the Fulani Commission of Police in Imo State will be there. The Fulani AIG for maybe zone 9 or zone 8 or zone 15 will be there. <laughs> These people are idiotic. They are so foolish. Can you imagine? So you don't know that if you have Fulani policemen and Fulani army officers in your so-called vigilante battle. They will tell their, when you want to go and attack them, they are the ones that will now inform their people that you're coming to attack their camp. You don't know that. I thought you, you were, intellectuality. Intellectual, intellectualism. Is this your, your, your intelligence? The sum of all your this is like this. You bring Fulani that is killing you. You bring their brother in the there's a police commissioner, you put him in the committee that will be a part of this battle, and then you you now go out to go and fight. Ask yourself, the same people you are bringing into your battle, they cannot even enforce grazing ban. Open grazing is against the law since 1968 in Nigeria. Since 1968, open grazing by Fulani is against the law against the law they cannot enforce it now you want them to come to become part of a group vigilante that will now stop their own people from grazing are you not foolish are you not foolish we must continue to preach this very gospel of heaven heaven will give me message and i'll give to the living that is why biafra must come that is why this gospel we've been preaching for very many years has caught fire everywhere. Everywhere that the Janja would have said we will restructure. And we say to hell with that restructure. We don't want to restructure nothing. Let everybody go back to their father's compound and start afresh. Britain destroyed us as a people and as a race. I was listening to a very erudite, well-spoken black American 
And this man said that slavery hasn't ended. All they did was to remove the chain from your collar. That's all they did. But this slavery remains. You people are, you are guinea pigs, experimental animals for the arch racists you have in Whitehall, in London, of which Katrina Lang is one of them. I saw her dancing with her Fulani. I don't know if it is at her Ogombe airport. Dancing, jumping up and down. A white woman. You people understand. They are welcoming her with a dance troupe at the airport. Katrina Lang. The same way they brought you the stupid Bible that some of you don't even understand today. Telling you and quoting you rubbish. How they went into our brain and basically rendered us useless. But thankfully there is a PUB and we can still reason. <laughs> some people have come out to... <laughs> they said a Bubatoro is a huge joke. <laughs> this is not from IPOB. A huge joke. They don't have the men. They're not on the ground. They're not, they have not confronted Fulani. They are not one of these governors have been able to drive away Fulani terrorists from, the, from his own domain. Not one of them. Not one of them has ever given an order to the police saying, Fulani people are killing us now. In Bende. In Osaka. They go. They will not go. None of these people, the people that, uh, that are claiming they are forming security outfit, none of them, all of them, all, they all have a full learning killing them in their states. They've done nothing. Now that Eastern Security Network has come to deal with these animals, they are now jumping up and down. Telling we want to form our own as well. Because they think that somehow one day, People will get so upset. There will be a very bloody, violent revolution. Just like the idiots that we had defending the mask we are from Niger Republic in London. Black people, they have a problem in the brain. Or should I say some of them? A lot of loops have now come out. <laughs> they said that mixed reactions have trailed the proclamation of regional security outfit, codenamed uh, more like a battle by the southeastern governors. People have spoken to uh, a major newspaper in the zoo. <laughs> oh dear me. Even ADF said that they, 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 we don't believe them. <laughs> ADF, we can't take them serious. <laughs> Nobody believes them. They are a laughing stock. This, is, this bundle of idiots in these five individuals. A laughing stock. People are laughing at them. <laughs> <laughs> we can't take them serious until they start doing something concrete. They cannot do it. Who can they give order to? The only person they can give order to is the police commissioner, PC. Police commissioner is a, is a, is a, is ginger weed. <laughs> What's he going to do? To go to the forest and flush and kill his own people? He's not going to do it. <laughs> He's not going to do it. ADF said they are not serious. <laughs> there should be a law banning open grazing. Not when you come out to pronounce it. In a democracy, it doesn't work that way. You go to your states, uh, your various houses of assembly, and you enact a law saying we are banning it. Uh, at least even when you enact the law anyway, who's going to enforce it? Because the police you're relying on to enforce it, they are federal police. Some of you don't know. They are federal police, not your own. But I'm sure on this UG, if it goes in through one ear, it goes out of the other. They don't retain knowledge. Very, very sad indeed. Very, very sad indeed. <laughs> oh, dear me. People said the greatest challenge is how to manage a Pussy and Eastern Security Network. Already operating in the We are already operating. Instead of them to come and say, oh, but how do we do this? Fulani said, no, 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 no. You use money. You use your security vote. Use your security budget. Dislodge them. Spray money everywhere. They have tried in Imo State, oh. <laughs> and uh, the idiot they sent were going to catch him. <laughs> According to an Abuja-based lawyer, Ozioma Izuora, he said... Ebube pussy doesn't exist. This is a, a, a battle. It doesn't exist at the moment. 
This is not how Amoteku was established. It wasn't her. You have to see it. There. <laughs> I, should I? I don't know if I, if I should continue. <laughs> the white man is very clever. <laughs> Came into our land and told us that um, our way of life is fetish. It's bad. It's evil. But they gave us something that is worse. <laughs> worse. And in the process, they took our brain as well. They took our brain. See how foolish we are. People are gathered somewhere forming a security outfit without security outfit. We have launched it. Launching means you show us. When you're going to launch a, a, a car or you launch your house or because uh, a housewarming party, you're telling the whole world, I have a house. You're launching it. How can you launch something without that thing that you're launching? And people are clapping for your intellectuals, intellectual governors. Ah, oh, dear me. <laughs> <It's a bag. laughs> Where is it? I'm asking you. All these days, have you seen anybody parading as a Ebube, 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 Ebube? I don't want to. Some of the names they're putting down here is just so horrible. I cannot even, I cannot even pronounce it live on air because people are listening. When do you? People are they are fools. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is that there is widespread condemnation. Our people are now beginning to reason properly. Do you know the Ebube, Ebube pussy that are planning to, to float that they don't have already? We received an intel. These are, they are bringing Fulani policemen in mobile police units from all parts of the zoo to try and come and become this security outfit for the, the, the foolish, the efulefus we have as governors. They are drawn from everywhere across the zoo. They will come, they will give them uniform, they will say that I have to be this, I have to be that. And as we said earlier today, anybody foolish enough, if you are, if you are that stupid enough or hungry enough to go and join any governor, in the running of this rubbish, prepare to meet your ancestors. And you will see them where you're going to. And you will tell them what the Fulani Janjaweed has done to you. And in the process, you will greet my mother and my father for me. Because that's where you're going to. There is nobody or who cannot spare you, I swear to God Almighty in heaven, any idiot foolish enough to go and join any governor in a bube this or a bube that. You are, you are finished. You are gone. Ask God as well. Jokwese. Magadea mama. Ndara. Go and bring them now to come and form your a bube this or a bube that. Imo State is now the new capital of the eastern region. Because Fulani Stooge is there. Second Fulani is there. Anambra is the beginning of who we are as a, as a race and as a people. Anambra is number one. Number one. Or Paracol. First son is Anambra. First son is Anambra. The same way you have the house of Judah in Israel. That's number one. Is how our land. Anambra is number one. If any meeting should be held, it should be held in Oka. That's number one. Oka. Because everybody's from Anambra State. Everybody. I mean, absolutely everybody is from Anambra State. If you don't understand. From Anambra, not even the state. From Anambra itself. Should I say Omambala? As it is. They were first, we went to Enugu. And now it's now going to be over there. Because a full and a ginger weed is there. I think the devil man wanted it to be born in state. But it wasn't possible. He was doing a nice man, a full and a man, wearing danchiki with red cap. And full and a was about to take over a born state until we stepped in. The war is still ongoing till now. I can't believe it. Till this moment, we're still fighting them. Battle, heavy battle. 
The zoo will not report it. You will not see any foreign writer, any consultant writing about it. But we are battling Fulani terrorists. Basically, army and police officers in Fulani terrorist uniform in Ebony State right now, as I speak. There's a war going on. Heavy war is going on in Ebony State right now. We have defeated Mieti Allah. They now went back, went into the army to bring army, Fulani army people and police to come and fight us in Ebony. A war is going on right now, as you speak. That is why I will not spare anybody that messes up with our funding. Like two individuals I mentioned their name in the U.S. in Georgia. They have stolen. And then let me not. Let me not. Uh, let me finish. Then I will go to those two individuals. Ndushi Marabo in the U.S. They cannot come home again. They can never come home again. I assure you. They can't. Let's continue. You people must understand what the Fulani Janja would have in store for you. All of you must understand this. Nebubepusi <laughs> was a carefully planned and choreographed presentation by Mieti Allah. What they plan to do is to float this idiotically named security outfit using Fulani soldiers and the police. Because it's here, they said it. They spy the, the heads of security were part of it. And in the process, they will bribe our men to abandon Eastern Security Network and join them. So they will sit back and be laughing. Oh, can't you see them? They are miscreants, they are hungry. Can't you see we gave them money? We told them we have money and they left Eastern Security Network to come and join us. That's what they want to do. They don't know how formidable we are. Uh, of course, now they know. I believe now they know. Now they know. Mieti Allah. Look at look at look at a governor, an Igbo governor, Igbo man. We are every blessed day, every time in his public appearance, to be wearing uh, a danchiki one thousand four hundred from Fulani land. Hi. Our people must be disciplined because now they are now telling us they're going to come with money to try to buy us over. They brought money to me. I said no many times over. They took the money to my parents. My parents said no. They will not take. They have tried everything humanly possible. The answer is no. We are saying no to them. Now I want to warn our people, wherever you are in the world, that without discipline, we are going to lose this war. The only thing we have, because we are an army of volunteers, the only thing we have is the love of Biafra, nothing more, nothing less. That is why in everything that we are doing, uh, we must be focused on the coming of Biafra, nothing else. Or else they will enter into us with money. That is why I say to you this evening, especially those who are on the ground in Biafra, anybody who comes to you offering you money for anything is an enemy of Biafra. If you take that money from that very person, you cannot see Biafra. That is why we are making it very, very clear that we must all be more disciplined than any army that mankind has ever seen before. More disciplined. Because with discipline, we can defeat. Because Britain will come eventually. You will see why white people will come. The uh, Betule will come. To fight us themselves. Because Fulani will not be able. They cannot sustain the heat. They cannot handle it. So Britain will come themselves. Or they may go to other West African countries to recruit people for themselves. You know, blacks are very foolish. They will do anything for money. We are not the same with these people. We are the children of God. We are the children of God. Darkness can never overcome us. Never, ever, ever. That is why you must have it in your mind all the time. That our focus is freedom and Biafra. Not just for ourselves, for our children and those unborn. And to the glory of Almighty God in heaven. Eastern Security Network is not after anybody as I tweeted earlier, or any tribe, or any religion, not at all. 
we are pursuing terrorists. I want the world to understand something today because sometimes they pretend they don't know what is going on. There are three types of terrorists in Nigeria. Three types. One is in the office as, as a politician stealing money, making lives of ordinary people difficult. You have Fulani terrorists themselves. And then you have Fulani terrorists in the army and police, wearing police uniform, but they're terrorists. We are after everything that is a terrorist in the zoo. We don't care where you come from. These people that I have just mentioned, if you're a terrorist amongst them, if you come to our land, you're going to die sooner rather than later. You must die. I assure you. If you have a problem with our modus operandi, it is entirely up to you. Do not come to our land to take over our land. It, it can never happen. As I said, we've been fighting war now in a for, for two weeks now. Intensive war. No longer Mietiala because Mietiala said we are not living in a Boeing state. And we knew the reason why. They were going in order to allow the army to come in. Nigerian army are in a Boeing state fighting us right now as I speak. But they are not wearing army uniform. But in, in a backliki, in a horse and everywhere. Then the, some of their reserve is in the police station waiting for us. Some of you do not know what we go through on a daily basis in the land of Biafra in order to keep you safe and secure. You have no idea. If your governors meant well for you, if your Fulani Janjaweed masters meant well for you, how come all these years of ban on open grazing, they have not effected not one single arrest of those destroying our crops in our farms? These are the things you must know. Eastern Security Network is irreplaceable and incomparable. Ban on. Some people think that they can maybe sidestep our command structure to recruit our operatives to become part of their <laughs> battle. You don't know how disciplined we are. You felt because some idiots who we are persuaded by British intelligence to abandon what we are doing, you think uh, somehow you can infiltrate the rank and file, not IPOB. You cannot. Not ESN, you cannot. Never, ever, ever, you cannot. You, you've been spending millions upon millions of US dollars to try to infiltrate, to destroy IPOB. You have failed. And you will continue to fail. You will continue to fail. The buying and selling mentality of our people, we have destroyed that many years ago. Our people can now reason very well. You can accept money today to mortgage. Look at, look at our future now. It was the money that politicians took in the past that made it possible for Jangjawi to be in our forest, raping our mothers and killing us every blessed day. They understand that there is um, something called repercussion. That is why you cannot buy us. We are under oath to restore Biafra. You cannot buy us. Stop wasting your money. And any governor that presents himself as an obstacle in the future will be dealt with. I have given the order on week. Eh? We'll catch him alive. And you will testify that I said it live on Radio Biafra. And you will hear about it. There are some people who are stealing our money in the USA. You know how these people are. You cannot assemble millions of people all over the world without having one or two bad eggs within. I'm announcing this evening, and as I make this announcement, I want you to go viral, and I want you to put it everywhere. We have an account in the USA called Bia Foundation Account, our charity in the USA, registered charity. For those who want to contribute to what we are doing, Citing maybe tax exemption, that's the way they do it in America. I gave the order for this BIA Foundation to be opened. We opened it with an account. And our people were contributing money to this account. A few days ago, we obtained the statement from two individuals I expelled from IPOB for their criminal behavior. These idiots still went back to the account because of how the state of Georgia works. To steal our money. Before I came on air, as at the last count, they have stolen seventy-seven thousand dollars. 
I have the account to prove you that they stole this money. $77,000 they stole from our account. I don't know how I allowed these criminals to come close to me when I was in the USA two years ago. One is called Osrumba. The other one is called Mwokemkwo. These are two arch criminals we have in America. And they will pay very dearly for it. They have stolen our money. Even today, they went to our account and took $4,000 from that very account. Very sad indeed. Therefore, I am making this announcement that nobody should put any money into BR Foundation account in the USA. It's very sad indeed. I know. These two individuals, I mandated them to open BR Foundation account. And they are members of the board of trustees of this charitable foundation. But they decided to go in there to steal our money. They were expelled. We've done all we could to recover this very account. In fact, we did. They still entered into the account to steal money from it. That is where we're going to take them to court in the USA, where the law actually works. Because they are thieves. Ozurumba and Wokenkwo in Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia to be precise. Anybody dealing with them is an enemy of the people. Nobody should put any money in this very account. Now you understand the reason why I said that I don't want men to come near our money anymore. Do you now see my reason why? I don't know what is wrong with our men. They will always steal money. I don't know what is wrong with them. Peanuts. They will always steal money. They want to do to us what they did to Ojibu. Uh, the people that we are taxed to go out and purchase weapons, run away with our money. And came back and became millionaires. Not under my watch, it won't happen. I don't want anybody to put money anymore in BI Foundation account in the USA until the new one is opened. If you put money there, these criminals will take it. Those rumba and work and And anybody supporting them is a dead person walking, man or woman in America. Anybody dealing with these two criminals will be expelled from IPOB with immediate effect. They are thieves. I have this, but I have it with me. They stole our money. And they'll pay for it very dearly. I thank you all for listening this very evening. Remember that discipline is key. We must be disciplined. Without discipline, Britain will overrun us. The same way now that the Nigerian army and police are the ones fighting on behalf of Mieti Allah. One day we'll defeat them and Britain will come to fight us. We are only going to be able to defeat them if we are disciplined. Disciplined. You must understand, discipline is key. Resist every temptation. But for Zurumba and working for people are finished. And I will come to the USA. I expect you to inform the U.S. authorities and uh, as you people always do, write all your junk to try to stop me from coming to the U.S.A. But I will come into the U.S.A. You people are thieves. You are rogues. Anybody that comes out in defense of these people, that person is finished. Because they are rogues. These are bona fide criminals. Your achievement in life is to steal from your people. We are in a boy state fighting and dying every blessed day. All across Biafra land, men are falling to set your land free. Where you're in America stealing our money. Any idiot I hear defending these two criminals is gone from IPOB, I assure you. I want to thank you all very much for listening this evening. And as always, and without hesitation, you must understand this. We have come that Biafra may be restored. We have come that the will of Almighty God in heaven may prevail in the lives of men. That is why to us, Biafra is the only thing that we have. Biafra. 
is our religion. Here on this noble platform, Radio Biafra, is where we worship. Because Elohim, Shukukukabamapu Mihen is our God, not man. And I may Pharaoh say, I pray, God forbid, I can't do that nonsense. Remember Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. I don't bow before any idol made by a man, especially one made by uh, white people in Europe. We are they no longer go to church because they have now realized that the whole thing is all rubbish. I believe that in our time, the will of Lord God Almighty in heaven, Elohim Adonai El Shaddai, Chukukkeva Pumihe, will do in our lives. It must come manifest in our time. Jeffrey must be restored. That every glory may go unto him and him alone, not man. I thank you all for listening from me from here. And I know that some of you may find it very difficult to believe with all the love in my heart. Good evening.